Here's how to set up your iPhone SE third generation. After powering it up, the first thing we need to do is select our preferred language and country or region. So I'm going to tap on English and then United Kingdom. Now we can set up our new iPhone SE 3 using the quick start method by bringing our current iPhone or iPad near to this iPhone. If you don't have an existing iPhone, you can alternatively tap on the Setup Manually option at the bottom of the screen. And I have a help guide covering that option too. The link to that guide should be displayed on your screen now. And you can also find that link in the video description below. Now the other thing I need to mention is you need to have the, your old iPhone on a minimum of iOS 11 and also Bluetooth turned on to get this notification. Unlock to continue. So let's unlock my iPhone first. There you go. And now we can set up the new iPhone. And so we just tap on continue. And now we need to hold the new iPhone up to the camera so that we get this animated GIF um, over the window. So if I just hold the camera and like that. There you go. And it's connecting. And now we need to enter the passcode of our old iPhone onto our new iPhone. So I'll do that now. And now we have the option to set up Touch ID or not. Now Touch ID is very good, so I'm actually going to set the Touch ID up. So let's continue with that. And we need to place our finger or thumb over the home button, lift and rest our finger on the button repeatedly. I'm going to use my thumb for this. So just, just do it lightly and keep going like that. And now it's complete. So Touch ID is complete. And now we can transfer data from the iPhone. So let's continue. And here's the terms and conditions. Now I've already read these, so I'm going to just tap on agree to that. And so make this your new iPhone. So yep, so let's tap on continue. Quickly add the cards. Well, I'll leave that. I'll set that up later. I don't need to do that now. So set up later. Share audio recordings. I'll leave that for now. So let's tap on not now. iPhone analytics. I won't share for now. And here it goes, transferring the data. And it should give me an estimated time remaining any any moment now. So that's it. So we just gotta wait two minutes. Transfer complete. So I just tap on continue. And we just need to wait a minute or so longer for the iPhone SE 3 to update. And finally, as you can see, our iPhone SE 3 is all set up with the same app showing on its home screen as the old iPhone. If you like this video, please thumbs it up and share it and subscribe for a lot more tech guides to come. Thanks for watching.